recording. そうそう。So his face, 顔は、派手に、clearly, なぐりあいでも、clearly was in, in a fight, したみたいに、Um, it seems to me. What do you think this、uh, knee is in here、it. with the yukande? Doing something knee very important. Modifying, it modifying the verb following. So, it. so. so we're telling it. how how his cow has been yukande. His, his, his cow is yukande as if it had been、um, hadani naguriai demo shita. はい。It ni, みたいに、みたいに、seem as if the cause of the y u g a n d e i r u みたいに。Right? Yep. みたいに。Tiny, um... Do you know what this yukande do is saying? I feel like that's the main part that's messing you up. Yukande iru meaning a crooked face. Basically, yes.、His、face is crookeding. Yep, his face is warped. His face is crooked. And then he says,、crooked. he wants to describe how is his face crooked? Is it crooked like he just happens to like have a crooked face? Or do we think that he go like it's crooked as if something had happened to him? As if Hadeni Nagurai de Mosta. It's crooked as if he was clearly in a fight、yeah. with somebody. Yeah, so Hade is basically saying like a big fight, basically, I guess. A big fight. So not really like showy, but like a very big, to the extent that you can really see like his face looks like he's been, maybe got like scars, got a very much a, I, nag, like he's been in lots of fights. His, And the context is that Neburi and him just came out of、Hi. the bar. And,、yep. and the last sentence before that, it said that this bar looked shady,、um, shady or something like that. The word was like, you, Ayashige. You, you, Ayashige, looking not good. Yep. It was a very suspicious looking bar. So, so. Ayashige. No. Ay yep. So, sore tomo is a way to say or. <laughs> Let you know. Sore tomo. Or. Kind of like on top of that, but literally it's like or in English. Sore tomo. Sore tomo. Sore tomo. Do you know how to read this word? Kodomo. Perfect. You know how to read this word? Jibun. Perfect.、Um, so, our next word, gorotsuki. This is a thug. Gorotsuki. Hi. How do you think you read this word? Kobun. Perfect. Kobun is minion. Minion. Kind of like te sta we saw earlier. Can you read the sentence for me? Kono gorotsuki wa higure no kimi no kobun da. Hi. The thug. Was the minions of the Twilight Lord? Basically, yep. This thug is a minion of the Lord of the Twilight. So, minion and minions, as always, is insinuated by context in Japanese, unlike in English, where we actually illustrate that. So, theoretically, it could be、um, these thugs, though Sono tends to insinuate one. Thing it, do, it doesn't have to necessarily, I think, but you'd probably say like soreda or something like that, or maybe just say kurotsuki, like some kind of pluralizer because sono tends to simulate、kurotsuki. one, so I'd also assume that is one. Sono that, so that, sono. yep, you said kono earlier, which would be this, and then sono is that,、oh. and ano is that, but it's very far away from me and whoever I'm talking to. Um,、right. you know what tada means? Tada. However, kind of. It does it does mean that. That is correct. um It can also, in the next context, it's like tada tada, which is basically a plain old, is how I would describe it. 
like boring it, it doesn't it, it's like um if you ever heard of kyomi san one of the characters in there the main character is called tadano san his name is a is a pun saying he's like a boring person like a, he's like saying he's mob he, he, he's a npc Tadano-san. kind of yeah it's, <laughs> that's what his name's a pun on that from tada for plain old but you're correct tada can mean like however um which is odd now that you point that out maybe he has conscious <laughs> okay so let's go read this book i mean let's read the line from the book Yojimbo Is he a bodyguard? Hi. Kobun. Kobun. A minion? Yep. Kore tomo. Or. Soretomo. Soretomo. Or. Tada no doro tsuki, a plain old thug. Perfect. So tada, like um, however, is originally tadashi, but I definitely know tada is said. And it has that kanji. Not that you'd probably see it that often, but I was able to Google that real fast. That's that tada. Hi. Okay. So it's, it's a different tada. It's also different tada. No relation. Um, tada, like boring, has a different kanji. I can quickly pop that out for you this guy it's a mm. plain old it's just a mouse with legs i don't know <laughs> um do you know how this guy's mm. read Sureru. hi Surete. Sureru. uh how about this guy sakaba perfect do you remember this word roji perfect how do you think you can read this word Jimmy. Yep, Jimmy. Perfect. So Jimmy is plain. Very similar to Tada. Um Tada is like plain in a like plain old kind of way. Like it feels like just that. It's it's boring kind of. Jimmy is just like plain as like the adjective plain. So you'd use plain like by itself. Ordinary. Jimmy does not stick out in any way. It tastes like dirt. <laughs> what the kanji is. Um, Does it also mean plain as in like the the flat land? No. The land that is flat? You would use taira in there for that. Um, yeah. It, it doesn't, it, the, the, the V here would, would not be used for flat plain. <laughs> so, I... uh, Earth is probably in there. I'm pretty sure it's that um, it would be taira ka that we saw. Taira ka? Yep. It'd be this guy with Earth. Uh, but I don't know how it would be read. But that would be the flat planes. Um, Hi. So this word started with G. Do you know what it ended with? M- me. Hi. G- Meaning taste. Mm. So perfect. Okay, so let's go read this line. Chi mina chairo no betsuto. Sorry, I just clicked the keyboard. Ah. Oh, kita. Hi. Betsuto is nani? Nani Bet- ga betsuto? Hi. So this right here would be in English. We'd start with the V. So it's actually a vest. Vesto. But B. Vest. Because we don't have V in Japanese. Hi. Oh, kita. Okay. So wearing... Or worn a plain old vest, a plain old brown vest. Perfect. A plain old professorial v- so, so. vest. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if you want to talk about plain flat down, that'd be pronounced as Haiti with that kanji, like I told you, that Heichi. flat real in your Haiti. Haiti. Hey. Hey, hey, flat that land. So, so. That's flat, flat lander. From Tairageru uh, ta- to flat and then the chi right here is that g 
Okay, here's a little refresher or something I want to read for you. This guy. What does that say? Ah, uh, wait. Aoi Ito. Perfect. Aoi Ito. Ito. Yeah. Blue thread. Perfect. Here's our next word. Can you read this for me? Hababiro. Hi. So this is a way to say wide, but specifically for like belts. Hadabiro. Belts. Um, can you read this for me? Belts. Hi. Sono jimi na hababiro no belto wa akai. The belt. Um, the belt was modified Let's start with by sono. hababiro. You know what sono means? Can that. You... Yes. So that, that belt with plain, what? Yep, ordinary that plain belt. When you say hababiro was also a belt, so a belt, a belt. Oh, uh, it doesn't mean belt. It is an adjective. It's like an adjective noun that is used with belts. Its meaning is really just the second kanji. So, what kind of it's belt are wide, you thinking? It's, yes, it's a, a wide belt. Like the the width of it is yes. the. So it's a belt like one. this, yeah. not like that. So it's not a skinny belt. Right. It's a wide belt. So Big. it's just, it's wide, but it's used with belts. But it does not mean belt. It just, it's, when you hear it, you're like, ah, it's wide like that. How about you? Okay. How do you read this word? Ke ito. Hi. So ke is fur. And ito is um thread when you get thread and fur and stick it together you get wool so wool. keito is wool um what did it start with okay perfect can you read this for me so no keito no vesto wa chairo da that vest of wool that wool the wool vest is brown perfect can you read this for me tome gane hi tome gane so um this gane is for metal and the tome is to fasten something so a tome game is the fastener of a belt um so it's the clasp the lutch the Fastener, all those words. So it'd be this item on the belt. Tomegane. The metal Tomegane. fastener. Um, so your job is to remember this is pronounced as ga gane from kane, because theoretically you know this kanji. So I just want to let you know the rendaku on it. But yeah, let's go read this. Hababiro no beruto ni tomegane ga Suite right. um, Suite was to attach. Yep. Um, a, 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 a clasp or um, a fastener was attached or is attached to the thick belt. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Shin Chu. Perfect. So this is brass. This is a kind of metal. It's very similar to copper. It's like a brown color. Shin Chu. Brass. Um, joge has multiple meanings depending on context. Um, the context you'll be seeing Jode in this book is talking about your clothing. Basically the top and bottom, like a set of clothing. Joge. So it's a way to basically say your shirt and pants, basically. Rather than saying shirt and pants, you say joge. And they're probably matching if they're using joge. that word. Joge. Okay. Joge. Let's go read the sentence. Shinchu no tomegane ga beruto ni suite iru. The brass, the uh the fastener, the brass, the fastener of brass. 
um, is attached to the belt. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read a line from the book. Chimina Chairo no Choge no Nakani Akaike Ito no Vesto o Kite Ite Hababiro no Beruto Niwa Shinju no Tome Gane ga Suite Iru Okay, so a ordinary brown color top and bottom piece cool. of clothing. No na ka ni. The space between them, the na ka ni. It's kind of at like the, in at or the with. space between the top. Yeah, kind of. Is. So na ka is not really the space Among, in right? between something. That would be like ida. Naka can mean middle, it, but it also means like within. Middle. So this is more within. like within. So he's talking about the outfit, the joge, his whole assemble from top to bottom, the clothing he wears. So just saying within the clothing he's wearing, that most of his clothing is very plain and brown. However, he has two other pieces of clothing that um are not brown. And then, so that's why it says donaka. So within the brown clothing he has, he also has some akai clothing and a shinchu beruto. So what is this saying? So it's saying with the ordinary brown, you know, top and bottom piece, there is a akai keito no vesto. There's a red vest. There's a wooded, a, a wooded, wooded red vest. Um, he, they, they, he, he's worn the vest. Uh, Hababiro no vesto niwa. The, the, the belt, the beruto, the Y belt. It, it is a um sinchu no togane. It it um the brass fastener is attached to the belt that is wide. Perfect. Yep. So yeah, this is basically what he's wearing. His belt's probably a little bit bigger than what I drew, but boy, you gotta do what you gotta do. So yeah, he's basically wearing brown clothing with a red vest on it and that belt with a brass um fastener okay so this is a hey, word Moni, yeah i have to compliment you that in the time span of me reading that sentence you managed to draw the whole outfit <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> finally had time the color and all <laughs> i mean there's a lot of words in that outfit <laughs> okay so um, we're going to do this next time, but I was going to do a little opener. We'll be learning this word again, which was talking about copper coins. So this word here was doka. Doka. And you're going to be learning that doka. next time. Doka. Hi. Hi. So, right. Now, though, is the end of our class. Um, any Hi. questions before 